Hi, hello, it's me again, Marina. I'm 60 and I live in Sweden. So it's time again to film my new episode of Throwback Thursday. And it's, I need to check, it's episode 19. Um, and today I'm actually using two palettes because uh, I used my random, um, what do you call it, spin the wheel app to choose a palette because I just couldn't come to think of anyone that I wanted to use and I got this one the After Dark palette from Urban Decay and it looks like this and it's all shimmers or should I say satins I don't know no mattes in here and I want a matte so I was picking out another Urban Decay palette the uh, Gwen Stefani from the Gwen Stefani collection and it looks like this I have filmed a video with this one a long time ago and I was complaining about the color story in this one it's basically just very bright for me skin tones mattes and uh, it's impossible to use but I still have it and now it can be in handy to have so I can combine it with the only shimmer one. Um, both of these are to me boring and I should really declutter them because I never use them. The after dark one I think I've used it once or twice. I remember ordering it online. Uh, not, I haven't hadn't seen it in real life, and I was really disappointed when I got it because it's it's too muted. Even though I like dark grungy colors, it's no, I don't, I just don't like it. So, but I will still do a look today, and I will start with the mattes, and I think I will take the from the Gwen Stefani one, the Harajuku. That one or should I yes I will okay yeah so to me this is so freakishly boring <coughs> I don't know why I still have them in my collection but I've told you before I rarely declutter every now and when I it gets to a point when I feel like oh I never use this and I never will and um, it doesn't give me joy when I watch it when I look down to the palette so then it's time but it takes me a long time to get to that point um, yeah I really have to you know start to think that by now I have so many more palette newer palette that I love so much more and that I adore and want to use so why keep on to something that only take up my face but for me to get to that point that I'm thinking like that is it's a really long way I have a really hard time to separate from stuff even though I'm not a hoarder in at all but Yeah, so I'm just placing this in my crease and up on my brow bone. <sighs> yeah. So when I look down to the palettes, they give me absolutely no inspiration. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. And also I want to, sh to be... <laughs> I won't, I can't talk. Big shout out to Erica, who is my inspiration inspiration for starting this series. And she got the inspiration from Jan Van. I will link them down below. So go and watch them. They do fabulous stuff on their channels. <clears throat> I will, sorry for blinding you, uh, take that one. It's a purple one called Druggy. Or should I? Yes, I will. 
and I will just place that all over my lid. So this will be nothing complicated, I just, <clears throat> yeah. This is also a really good thing, this throwback Thursday thingy, because when I do stuff like this and I bring out really old palettes that I think I still want to keep and I have them in palettes that I don't use a lot and that I'm start to get bored of, they are in a special on my other desk over here. And when I bring them out, after not been using them in ages, I really get this feeling of why do I keep this? I need to get rid of it and that's a good thing I think. So I'll see if I can find someone who wants this. My daughter for example. Because when you do this throwback Thursday thing you kind of go through your old stuff more than you should, than I would have done otherwise. Oh, oh this is so boring. Oh. And I will take the, there's a black in the Gwen Stefani one called Blackout. That one, and I will use that one. <clears throat> Full out and purple under my eyes. Look like I'm having a bruise. <laughs> um, yeah. Urban decay is not what it used to be, I think. Or is it me who have changed my preferences, I don't know. I'm so uninspired. <laughs> okay, um, I will keep on with the black one under my eyes. And I will take the, I think I will take the green or the blue. I don't know. I think I'll go with the blue one in here. That one, sorry, called Paralyzed. Just to have used at least one other color from this. Sorry, my phone is ringing. Okay, so that was my brother. Um, uh, yeah, where was I? I am putting the blue under my eyes just to get some more use of, or just to have used some more of the shadows in here. So. Going 
back to the black a little bit oh. <laughs> I'm bored just looking at this looking at it just finessing a little bit okay so i will have to do something to spruce this up a little bit because this looks so yeah i'm always complaining i'm sorry uh, okay so that's it for the shadows hmm i need to have some really nice inner corner highlight and i don't know yeah okay so i will fix the rest and then i will be back to you see you in a bit okay so my look is done and i i had to spruce it up a little bit <laughs> well as and as per usual it always turns out better in the end um well you put everything on your mascara and stuff like that eyeliner and and I also added some glitter. Well, okay, we'll go through that. <clears throat> uh, so I've been using for this Throwback Thursday <clears throat> video some really old palettes. So the After Dark palette from its shiny Urban Decay. And it looks like this. And I've used that one called Druggy and the blue one called Paralyzed blue one under my eye and druggy on top of my lids uh, yeah so that's that for that palette and from the other one the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani collection I've used uh, Harajuku and uh, Blackout that one yeah so that's that uh, and to spruce things up a little bit uh, my inner corner highlight from sugar drizzles on top of the mountain and beneath the stars highlighter palette i used a blueish highlighter called twinkling doves doves in, yeah um yeah and my eyeliner is a blue one from Makeup Forever called um, Aqua Liner and in number 18. And I added some glitter. It has no name, but it's from Wet n Wild. Uh, yeah, and no name, but it's it looks purpley in the jar, but it doesn't sparkle in purple. It's like green and orange and everything but that's okay uh, as a base for my shadows same same as always Kiko Milano neutral eye base my mascara the Nordic uh, berry volume mascara from Lumine Finnish brand and <laughs> my brows are the deep brow pomade from Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, my base same as always a studio foundation from makeup store my powder is loose setting powder in 03 fair from Isadora and I use the bronzer that I have that is in this palette from Too Faced Nikki tutorials and Too Faced uh, that one is uh, chocolate soleil and my blush is that one for the lovers from uh, made by Mitchell <laughs> blame it on the blush palette my highlighter is Neptune from Ofra Cosmetics purpley one and that's it my lippy was a gift to me from uh, Darcy at St. Angel Sinners but this one is from Gerard Cosmetics and it's called uh, Hydra Matte in Ecstasy I really love this color. Yes. So that's it for this week's Throwback Thursday. Close up. 
glitter all over. <laughs> yeah. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you don't think I complained too much. Complained. I can't talk. Uh, yeah, so until I see you again, hopefully before next Thursday, I hope. I start work on Monday. Today is actually Thursday, so um, the 12th, no, 11th, sorry, 11th. <clears throat> and I'm going to edit and have this up at once, as soon as I can. So uh, I hope I will be doing some more videos before Monday, because when I'm working, it's hard with the time. So, okay. Uh, Thank you for watching. Take care and be careful out there. Bye bye.